Hi, this is a new tutorial about TypeScript, or rather a new series. Writing TypeScript is currently my main activity. I decided to record this series simply because of that. It's easier for me to share with you what I know and what I've been doing. So the idea for this tutorial is to build a fully featured TypeScript application. In other words, this tutorial will cover the whole process of building a TypeScript application in a comprehensive way. We could say from A to Z. So I will be talking about front-end, I will be talking about back-end, but more importantly, I will explain how to connect front-end with back-end. And then we will talk about everything in between and also outside. So for example, we will design a database together, we will expose an API, we will compare and contrast a RESTful API with a GraphQL one, then we will see how we can prepare our application for production, and finally, how to deploy it. What are the ways or techniques of deploying a web application you know, for other people to use it? This tutorial won't be extremely detailed. The way I imagine is, is to give you the orientation and then you can figure out the details uh, on your own. This way, I want it to be practical. I want to fill certain gaps I see in, in other tutorials, uh, you know, giving you the big picture, so to speak. So you, you have a basic understanding about all the elements needed for creating your own application from A to Z. In my explanation, I may skip certain things. I will assume certain knowledge. So if you don't know about something, you can always ask me. But this way I want to be more practical. In this tutorial, we will build yet another task management application. I decided to create a task management app because the notions are well understood. You already know what a task is. You know that you can group tasks. You know that you can check, you can mark a task as done. You can share tasks between users. So all those things are already known and well understood. And instead, we can focus on building the actual app. So I don't have to you know, spend time on explaining the relations and concepts. We can just build it. This application will be built in open. So the app is called Tasky. It will live under this URL, tasky.app. If you go there, you will see the current stage of the application. And as I release the new videos, we will improve that application under this URL. So this way, everyone can see the progress of the app. It will be online, and if someone wants to build it, there will be you know, videos somewhere on YouTube for that. For the technical part, on the backend, we will be using Node.js, and we will be writing TypeScript, of course. At some point, we may switch to this new uh, runtime called Deno. We will see uh, how it goes. I don't want to promise anything. At the same time, I would like this tutorial to be modern. So I would like to cover the new upcoming you know, tendencies and trends in web programming instead of focusing on, on some you know, older or already established ways of doing things. So my goal is to explore new improved ways of doing web programming. On the front end, we will be using this UI framework called Vue.js. And specifically, we will be using the upcoming version 3, which is still in beta. This version provides a, a new composition API. This API is similar to Hooks in React, but slightly better. The Vue team took an existing concept and improved it. For the database, we will be using PostgreSQL, which is one of my favorite open source projects and also probably the best database uh, out there. We will see how we can design a schema, how to establish the relations, how to create tables and establish the relations between them, etc. And then we will see how we can use PostgreSQL not only as a relational database, but also how to use it as a document-oriented database. So how we can do the same thing we can do with MongoDB, for example, but in, in PostgreSQL and why this way it's, it's better, or, or, or maybe I, would, I should say why this way it's easier to manage data, having it in, you know, in one place. A database that can manage both the data in a traditional way 
and using uh, this document-oriented schema-less format. For the visual part, we will do something different. So instead of writing CSS by hand, we will be using this project, this tool called Tailwind, that provides a predefined, a set of predefined building blocks that we can combine directly in HTML pages to create coherent, consistent UIs quickly. So at the beginning, I didn't like this project, but then the, the approach they propose somehow grew on me and I realized it's extremely powerful. It's not only powerful, but also practical. You can quickly achieve great results with Tailwind. So in this tutorial, we will explore this approach and see it in practice as we build the whole application. For the editor, we will be using Visual Studio Code because this application is in TypeScript. The tutorial is designated for beginners. Visual Studio Code provides a better out-of-the-box experience for you know, TypeScript application. So it's easier to use it and then we can just focus on the actual app instead of you know configuring it. You can do the same with Emacs, but you just need to configure it. And um, I don't want to focus on that. In this tutorial for Emacs, we have another series and maybe at some point I will explain how to you know create a TypeScript setup. Uh, but it's out of the scope for this one. It's just easier to use Visual Studio Code in, in this scenario. And finally, we will be using Kretes. This is my own project. It's a tool that unifies all those other tools I mentioned and puts them together in a coherent way. So you can think about it, it's like a boilerplate on steroids. Not only it arranges things together, but it also provides some tools that help you do certain things uh, faster when creating a web application. So we will see that uh, in practice and what it brings to the table. The idea for Kretas is to help you focus on the actual app, on developing the, the business features of your application instead of you know, constantly configuring different elements. So for example, seeing how you can connect view with Node.js or how you can connect it with a database, etc. While using Kretas, all that is predefined and you don't have to worry about that. You can just focus your energy on building the app Here's the plan for the next few lessons. We will start with Tailwind CSS and I will design the first version of the application. Then we will make it interactive using Vue.js and specifically by using this composition API. Then we will implement the backend. We will define the API and expose it to our frontend. And then we will start connecting those two parts. And at the same time, we will also start designing the database so that we can persist our models in the database. And from this point, we will start improving our application by adding new features and uh, refactoring certain parts. Maybe based on your feedback, I will add even more features. I hope you will enjoy the process of building this app. See you in the next video.